thank you for being here and for wanting to do this. It's so much fun. I get to spend this little minutes with all of you and it's I love it. So the first thing is what instrument you play for our audience. Yeah, um, I play the French horn. And uh, how long have you been playing the horn? Well, I've been playing since uh, about like fifth grade. I think I started doing the French horn right away in band. Wow, that's good. Did you have like a natural inclination for the French horn? I'm just curious. Well, so the way that they did it was they had us try out some instruments as fourth graders. And um, there was this lady there who played the French horn. So of course she was looking to recruit people, but I actually chose my, as my two instruments, I chose the flute and the clarinet. And um, I could not get a sound out of either of them for the life of me. But then the lady was like, oh, try the French horn mouthpiece. And um, I ended up like being able to get out several notes and she was impressed and she's like, do that one. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to be going to the University of Alabama, and um, I'm not really sure what I'm going to major in, but right now I'm leaning towards something liberal arts oriented because I'm going to do pre-law, so that would go nicely. I think that what I'll miss the most is just those moments when like you really feel the music come alive and you really feel like you're making art. Um, I've just ne never found anything like it and it really makes me think of like at the retreat this year when we were in that giant barn you know and it was like pelting rain outside and was Casper was really yeah he was egging us on and he was like come on you need to play together because we had so many people who yeah. were new to the symphony and um you know, he was really egging us on. We, we all had to like give our all to, to that practice. And then at that performance, at the end of the retreat, I remember playing and everyone was just really dialed in and in the moment. And that performance was amazing. It always sticks out in my mind because even though it wasn't perfect, you know, I think that we really just banded together and we made so much progress. It was like our work was all worth it, you know? And I'm so proud of that performance. So for me, even just two years ago, I really felt like I was out of my league when I got to PYS. And I just really want other people who might feel like that to know that you should never feel discouraged. Um, and you should instead like take inspiration in feeling out of your league because that means that you have a lot to learn. And that was very true for me, even though I felt behind everyone. Like the first time I had a seating audition for Casper, he told me, start at like rehearsal F and play through rehearsal H or something like that. And I, like, in my audition frazzled mind, I had no idea what he was talking about. Like I could not figure out, I'd never been in a symphony <laughs> before, <laughs> rehearsal F. And so the entire audition, he had to explain to me where the spots were until the very end when it clicked. And I felt so embarrassed. I was like, oh no, this is it. I'm never going to get past this. But those types of moments are actually like so key. That's how you learn. And, you know, anyone who you might feel like, oh, they've got everything under control. They've been there before where they didn't know what was going on. It's all about experience. So just get in there and like get that experience and learn from it. And it's great. Oh my gosh. So my favorite from Mr. Casper is whenever he gives you a really dramatic like cue. So he'll be going like, you know what I'm talking about? 